Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week we are going to be reviewing the software sold by the Madiba of Forex. The system is called the Robinhood system and you can see it over here in these posts. So the whole marketing of this system is that it takes from the rich and gives to the poor and that's why it gets its name as the Robinhood system and right now the system along with other things are going for 2500 Rand. Right here you can see that the robot is used on NAS100 and on US30. So we are mainly going to focus on NAS100 for our testing. So from what you can see from all of these results is that the system is promised as it's going to make you a lot of money very fast and that it hardly ever loses we are going to test this by doing some testing on the software itself we are now in the metatrader 4 platform and i have already applied the indicators to the chart and as you can see the indicators are as follows you have these two bands over here as your bowling bands sort of but they actually consist of moving averages and then you have the support and demand Fibonacci as seen in many other systems and then finally you have the buy and sell arrows these arrows will appear normally in the red and green zones so right now we are going to perform a back test using the recommended way of entering the market and that is you enter when you see something like this over here where you have the sell arrow the bowlinger band and you are in the red zone so using that criteria we are going to do our back test and then we are going to compare it to an adjusted strategy so just as a demonstration right now we see that our criteria have been met for a sell so based on this we are going to sell at this point over here and then we will see how the market goes so right there you can see that's how your trades are promised to go but we will be doing a longer back test in order to determine whether or not it is sustainable over a longer period of time this is just a demonstration of how when everything lines up the trades should go so right now we have the results of the backtest and the period that was backtested was the 1st of July to the 1st of October the take profit and stop loss were 5000 to 2500 respectively and the time frame that was used was the 15 minute time frame since Nasdaq is quite volatile we can't use a higher time frame otherwise I would take profit and stop loss figures would have to be adjusted we are now looking at the results of the backtest that was conducted on the 15 minute time frame and we can see that the win rate of this backtest was 53.57% and that led to a total profit of 616 rand for the period do bear in mind that this result is with the lot size of 0.01 so if you scale it up to 0.1 you'd get 6000 and so on also take in mind when using the lowest lot size that this test was conducted over three months in total and over that three months it was only able to make 660 rand for smaller accounts this would be terrific but for other accounts that are but larger the sort of profit might need some adjusting with the lot sizes we are now back at the metatrader 4 platform where i will be conducting my second backtest this backtest is different to the first one and i'll show you guys an example of how to go about trading using the second strategy with the same software so the reason why we need the second strategy is because the trading style is based on this fibonacci that is it's also seen in systems like Red William and, and Belly system and from those videos we have already established that the Fibonacci that is given over here does move and that does influence your trades quite a bit so you do need a bit 
of uh, extra background knowledge in order to trade successfully when using this sort of indicator on your charts. The reason why we need a second strategy when using this sort of system is demonstrated as follows. Right there you can see that we have our buy trade and we are in the correct zone. But if we skip a bit further ahead we can see that even though we entered the market at this point over here when we had our buy signal the market had pushed down further all the way until we were 10,000 pips in a loss and that is the reason why we need a different sort of strategy when using the system the system doesn't work too well when the market is trending towards the downside or the upside the software does work well when you are in a ranging market because that's when these supply and demand zones come into play otherwise the market just pushes the supply and demand zones in the direction that it is moving and that gives you a false signal the second strategy involves using price action and when you include price action with these sort of indicators they do become a whole lot better and that is because it takes into account the market that you are in as well so even if you are in a ranging or a trending market using the price action along with the indicators will greatly improve your success rate and i'm going to demonstrate that now through my backtesting and i will show you an example of where you should be entering the market when you are using the price action strategy if you do want to solely use the three confirmations mentioned earlier where you have the the moving average plus the zone plus the arrow in order to make your trades i would recommend first checking whether the market is trending to the upside or downside or whether it's a ranging market so what you can see right now is an example that i took out of the back testing that i did and what we can see here is that we have our arrow we have our zone and we have our band over here so the fact that we are not on the red band gives us the go ahead to place our sell trades but we aren't going to place our sell trade immediately even though in this case it would have worked out fine we are going to wait until we see some price action towards the downside so what we are going to wait for is that the price moves to the downside in a way that we can see that it now wants to move to the downside and then we are going to try and enter at a point that will be beneficial to us so we are still going to use the Fibonacci indicator but this time we are going to focus in on this line over here there's no specific reason it's just that this line is after the indicator came out so now we see that the market has moved to the downside and then it's retests so not only is it retesting it's retesting the line and the line has a point where the market has wicked it over here and that could also be an indication of a support zone that has now turned into a resistance zone over here so at this point we can place our trade over here and then just let the trade run out. and that is how you use the price action strategy in order to place the trades from this long week over here we can also further say that now we have a proven resistance since we had our first touch over here and our second touch over here and the market didn't break through this point so right now on your screen is the backtested results that we obtained using the price action strategy and with the price action strategy we can enter more trades because we are using lower highs and lower lows so as long as the market is forming those lower highs, lower lows, higher highs, higher lows we can place our trades we still use the same time frame of 15 minutes with the exact same period and with the same stop loss and take profit so we're now going to see how the updated strategy has improved our results so right now you can see that we have a win rate that is now 66.67% and that gave us a profit total of 1,305 Rand and this is around about double the profit that we would have made had we been using the three confirmations that are suggested by the creator or the person that is selling the software 
so we can see that the win rate is still lower than 80 percent but with the increased amount of trades we were able to get a higher profit so once again i'm saying that if you want to improve on this profit this is only on the lot size of 0.01 you can make at 0.05 or 0.1 and you will earn 10 times as much if you put it on 0.01 and 5 times more if you put it on 0.05 so for large accounts all you need to do is scale your lot sizes to your account size so with the backtested results out of the way the rating that I would give this software will be a 6 out of 10 since it is still able to make a profit it's not going to be lower than a 5 but the fact that you need to create your own strategy in order to use it does make it a bit misleading on the seller's part and when you market it as something that is going to make you reach very fast having something so misleading will draw a lot of people in and I do have an issue with that sort of marketing but the robot itself doesn't perform too well in a market that is trending so it has its pros and cons and this is the reason why it only gets a 6 out of 10 from me I will also be supplying a template for the software so that you don't have to keep applying these indicators to your chart and we will move on to how to download the software now we are now over at the Forex Reviews SA YouTube channel I'd like to thank everyone for getting us to over 2,000 subscribers. The channel wouldn't be what it is today without you guys. And I hope to continue helping everyone in the way I have for the foreseeable future. To download the software from Madiba FX, all you need to do is click into the Rocks FX Masterclass video and then in the description of that video you'll find the link to the google drive and from there you get the systems indicators in this folder over here and over here you'll find the template so that you don't have to keep applying the indicators to your chart each time thank you for watching this week's video goodbye